FX's Wildcat gets a makeover, and the company takes steps to integrate its brand new Smooth Twist X interchangeable barrel liner system. And there was something else. God, what the heck was that? Oh yeah! Thanks to Air Gun Depot and Air Gun Nation, one of y'all is gonna win this. AEAC is made possible by JSB Match Diablo, H&N Sport, Predator International, Air Arms, Crossman Corporation, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Sports Match Rings UK, Rapid Air Weapons, and Aztec Optics. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys. FX's new Wildcat Mark II comes to us from Sweden, and it is the successor to the Mark I. Now, this one's available in 2.2 and 2.5. It measures 33 and a half inches long. It weighs in at 9.2 pounds shoot ready to include a scope, mounts, a cylinder filled with air, and a magazine full lead. It can be had in black synthetic, walnut, or laminate. Ships with one metal rotary mag and an FX hard case. And you can pick one up from the boys at Air Gun Depot for between 13 and 1700 bucks. Now this pup's regulated. So when you fill its 300cc reservoir to its 230 bar max, you're gonna get 60 good shots on that reg before power tails off at around 125 bar. Now that power comes in at a nasty 43 to 46 foot pounds, which it accomplishes by pushing a 25 grain pellet to about 870 feet per second across the 60. Now this new Wildcat is distinguished by FX's brand new Smooth Twist X interchangeable barrel liner system, an upgraded trigger, an improved loading mechanism, and increased efficiency. So, does it work? Well, let's take a closer look and find out. It's been a busy six months for FX. In October, they won the Extreme Benchrest competition again with their new crown. And in November, they opened up their brand new distribution warranty and service center in Wilmington, North Carolina. And word on the street is they're going to have another surprise for us to be announced at the IWA Outdoor Classics in Germany next month. So keep an eye to AEAC because I'll be bringing you that show coverage much in the same way I did with SHOT. Their wildcat here is a hunter first, but it's got all the civility of a Swiss watch. All movements everywhere are slick, precise, clean, and light. And it does okay on the bench, but really, it was built for extreme speed. Speed Silhouette, three classes, six relays, 25 to 50 yards, 25 cal and under, and expect relay times of 20 to 60 seconds. Some of these guys are fast. Guys, that was some of my extreme bench rest coverage from 2017, and I'll leave you a link to that video in the description down below. But I think you get my point. The FX mechanism is lightning quick. Pretty damn accurate too, especially for having all that snort. God. Now, I can't tell you what they did to make them better, but out of the box, the Mark II's manual safety and trigger are as jewel-like as they come. The trigger is dual stage, fully adjustable, and match grade. And out of the box. It breaks at just 15 
2.6 ounces. As previously mentioned, this new Mark II takes advantage of FX's Smooth Twist X interchangeable barrel system. And at around $110 for each insert, this will enable the end user to economically own just one gun, but take advantage of multiple calibers, twist rates, and chokes. FX has even keenly taken this a step further and integrated the system across the core of its offerings. What that means to you is that you can own a Wildcat, Impact, or Crown, purchase just one insert, and experiment with it across all three guns. They're even developing an extra-long 700mm insert to further maximize range and power. If your insert and threaded plug stick together, twist them apart. If your threaded plug pulls right off the end of the insert but your insert stays stuck in the gun, wrap the insert with a small piece of cereal box cardboard, gently grip it with a pipe wrench, and gently rock it back and forth while applying pressure to move it away from the breech. To reinstall, slide the insert back into the barrel liner until it makes contact with the breech. Once it does, you'll need to manipulate the insert until it lines up with the opening in the breech. Then gently push to make sure it's completely seated. That wrench is 10 millimeter, by the way. Snug up the plug just ever so gently. The threaded plug grips the shroud up near the muzzle end, and you'll know you're lined up when it falls into place. When you first receive your FX, it's likely that there'll be some rubber O-rings around the insert. The factory has put them there to help improve harmonics, which theoretically can contribute to accuracy and improve sound quality. To keep the O-rings on the insert and to prevent them from falling off into the sleeve, quickly rotate as you remove. If one does happen to fall off the insert and remain in the sleeve, do not dry fire the gun in this configuration. If you do, you'll inadvertently blow out the O-ring that lives between the blued sleeve and the stainless collar. Instead, just turn the gun upside down and shake. It'll fall right out of the sleeve for you. With our new version Smooth Twist X insert in place, we're ready to compare it up against the original. It's easily identified by its externally crimped rifling that runs the length of the insert rather than just in the last few centimeters. 
and you'll notice I put it back in place without any external O-rings installed. And for clarity, I didn't use them on either insert throughout the making of this video, but I'd encourage you to experiment with them as mileage may vary. The idea here is to get it just ever so slightly snug, but not so much so that you distort and bow the insert. An added bonus, barrel cleaning has never been so easy. For full details on how I approach this science, check out my Clean It video. I'll leave you a link to it in the description below. Identifiable by its dual Picatinny rails and redesigned silencer, there's also a Mark II compact coming. And if you keep an eye on Ted over at Ted's Holdover and Ted's Holdover Vlog, you won't miss out because he'll be giving you a full review on that one. Refilling the Mark II's non-removable 300cc cylinder is very easy. Just rotate the dust cap to expose the fill port and insert either the included or accessory fill probe. Fill to no more than 230 bar and 60 shots later or when pressure drops to about 125 bar. When you get there, bleed the air between your fill source and the gun. Remove the probe and rotate close the dust cover. That's all there is to it. Guys, I've been working to come up with a way to help you get a better understanding of sound reproduction here at the source and compare it to what the bad guy might hear or not hear 50 yards downrange. If you guys could help me out and in the comments down below let me know what you think and if you like it we'll stick with it and if you hate it we'll just go back to the old way.
pretty damn good group. Smooth twist X, guys. Shit's real. <laughs> well, that is all for today, my fine friends. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Dustin, Ryan, and Travis over at Airgun Depot for getting one of these new Wildcats into my hands to review for you and for hosting the giveaway over at Airgun Nation. So please, do us a favor. When you think FX Wildcat purchase, do think of those guys first. Now from here you'll want to head on over to the Airgun Nation forum and see Michael so you can participate in that discussion, contest, and giveaway. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. As for me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell all your friends about AEAC, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram for behind the scenes pictures and information. I'll share things there that won't make it onto YouTube and you guys won't want to miss out. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. I really appreciate you watching, and good luck, everyone.